morning guys welcome to today's video today is rainy and cool we're back to fall love fall fall is my favorite i'm not joking <laughs> it's cold ish and it starts a whole weekend of rain and we have a whole weekend of work shows get out there go ahead you got it go out and he's like no i want to be with you can we clean the barn together Ever wake up in the morning and then be like, oh man, I have so much to do today and then forget all the things you have to do. Like I'm just down here in my happy place, my place where nobody bothers me hardly. And I'm thinking like, what can I do to make this look prettier? Someone suggested that I get fairy lights. I'm going to do that. I might go there this morning and I definitely want to hang up fairy lights. Have you ever seen those like, and then people were talking about like feeding, feeder things, but have you seen those like little hooks and they come down and they hold like a flower pot and then you put like one of those little metal long cylinder type flower pots in it and it looks like hanging pots. I don't know. I think that would be super pretty too. And even maybe painted black or like a rust color to match this. I don't know. I think it would be cute. I don't know if we're going to ever sit over here, but I love it. And look at this. Look at my view out the window. I see so many things that I'd love to fix up in this barn. Like it needs to be painted in a huge way. I hate painted barns because eventually, as you guys can see, it all flakes. But I like it in here. It's cozy and like this huge repeat, reprieve from the weather. But you know what I like the best about this barn? So the thing I like the best about this barn is that it has so much living space. It's not just stalls with a tiny little aisle. It's got this foyer here, which I want to do something fun in here too. I want to get some different seating for in here because I want it to be, this I want to be in my milking area. But it has like this cute little foyer. And then this hallway, obviously if we had horses in here, we wouldn't have stuff in here. But it's actually big and it's like another area for us to hang out and I just, I love it. I love that there's plugs everywhere. And then I like that it's like a maze, another little space that we can store stuff. Someone commented recently that all of their stuff in their barn growing up um, was always stored in a room. I love storage like this. I love it like I love functional over beauty. And, but I like it. I like having everything ready right where I need it and organized. But then I like that it has a whole other section. And I like how it's separated. I like that I have a room for my goats. I love this area here that it has, a, I love the feeder. I love that it's like an indoor outdoor. I'm excited to see how this plays out through the fall season. Like another little foyer over here. I love that we can hang stuff up here. I actually just have a garbage bag hanging there right now because I found that hook there. But I love this, like it's, an, it's like three areas that you can hang out in the barn. And then I love this room, even though it's like not in awesome condition. I, I like it a lot. I like, this is where I'm keeping my cat bed. This is for him for in the winter when it gets cold. But I love that I have a fridge down here. This has got to go because behind this, and I am going to take this out. I need to do it soon. I have this wall where you can hang saddles and stuff. When you could put, actually I might put a chair in here. Like a bench to sit in here, especially for Ollie. I love this cabinet that I keep all my like, cat food and medicines and like so much stuff Sam bought for me. He bought these nipples that you put on uh, pop cans for when we have baby goats. But yeah, I love this barn. It's like my home. It's like my home away from home. And I think the goats like it too. I just, I like it that it can all be separated. I like that we have the duck and the goose here. And in winter, if I really wanted, I could even bring the, the chickens in here and then have this like, I don't know, I'm thinking about putting the boys over here for winter in this stall. I don't know, it just gets me excited. But I like that, it, I love how it's separated. One section over here for whatever you want over here with its own little foyer. Then a fence, a gate over here, which I need Sam. Sam, can you fix this for me? I need it to actually close. like. I don't know who made this, but it's not perfect. But I want that to like be 
I want to be able to close that area off. And actually, it would be so cool to have a, a gate here too. Like across here, so that this could be like our milking station in the winter. I didn't think I was ever going to use this. I love it. I'm going to write down everything on this board. So um, we did the feet on September 29th. I'm Right now I'm getting the feet to where I want them to be. And they still have a lot of of stuff on the bulbs of their feet. So I'm trying to do them like every week or every two weeks. So I'm gonna write down all the dates and put down their feet. I'll be able to put down how much milk they get or who's been milked or like, if we go away, I can put down for whoever's caring for our animals, what they get. I really wanna clean this window. Uh oh, it's pouring rain. Anyway, those are my plans. Uh, my goats are getting better, like getting chubbier. She's like, ew, it's raining. Oh, I think you're not supposed to go to the bathroom on YouTube. Anyway, it's exciting. I'm excited. I love it. I'm going to give them some fresh hay out here. I love this door. Like, I, I love that it's kind of rustic and the, and the paint is all peeling and stuff. I don't know if I'd like, I think, I don't know. I may paint it, but I love this area out here. Actually, there's an area right there. I should do something like that. Maybe put the boys over there. I don't know. All I know is that my goats are getting chubbier and healthier by the minute. I can see it. And I love this barn. I didn't when we moved in. It was not my favorite thing. I can't imagine putting horses in here. Like having to walk them in. Like, I just, I don't know. I just can't imagine this barn being for horses, but I love it for goats. The barnyard is deserted today, guys. I don't know where the horses are, but they're not out here. And they're not in here. Who was galloping? Sure. Why? Here and go back and forth the arm out. Why? Why? Because he's special. <laughs> we have a show. Wouldn't it be cool if we put the round bale in here? No. And if we opened up that whole wall. Oh! <laughs> That's so weird. My storm. Oh. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no, honey. <laughs> no. Where's Penny? Hmm. Well, everybody's having a bath. Honey, you come here. And you need a bath. I love how our mornings flow at this farm. It is effortless. Uh, they finish up the barn. I clean the house. We do school. <laughs> oh, my foot almost got chopped off. <laughs> what was that about? The rooster. <laughs> He's making me fit, guys. <laughs> He's making her fit, you guys. Nobody else has problems room. with the rooster. I mean, he's attacked me. Full on, flown up at my head. Yeah, me too. But he doesn't. When I run, he chases me. So yeah. I grab a handful of mealworms and I throw them at I him. do not run. If I see him stalking me, I'm just like, dude. If he comes over and tries to bite my feet, I just stand there and don't move. And then he's like, oh, she's boring. And he walks away. Like, <laughs> you're know. you're his perfect victim. He's a bully, Sophie. And you're, and you're going right into everything he wants you to do. Oh, she threw mealworms for them. But anyways, we are headed out. Uh, you got, I love you guys. I love you guys. Even when you tell me bad stuff. Laura, they're going to, goats are going to climb on that round bale and then the horses won't eat it. <laughs> Poof, happens. Like, stop telling me bad stuff. Only tell me good stuff. <laughs> still eating it, though. Yeah, they're still eating it so far. And the goats have only been up on it one day. So, today is rainy, and the goats have not left their little covered area because, ew, rain. Uh, and the countdown for Sophie's show has begun. And the countdown to her birthday has begun. Her birthday is in October. It's coming up. I'm super excited. What do you think you're going to get? Uh, AirPods. That's what she wants. She wants AirPods. She's 13 now. Well, she's almost 14. Anyway, um, we're headed out to do some shopping. Sam has to get some stuff to fix some stuff. And I am going to get some stuff to decorate my little goat barn. And I'm going to get some stuff for that cat. I want to get her a cat gift toy. And more of those toys that are on a stick and the things hang down. Yeah, she, she destroys hers. everything. We just got home. And I was getting out of the car and I heard Sam scream and I knew exactly what happened. 
I'm like, I bet you they're the streets got them. I was actually laughing hysterically, Sam, tell yeah. them. As soon as I opened the door, the rooster <laughs> rammed the back of my leg. The car like, door or the house door? The house door. Oh. It was following me. I'm like, don't you dare. And then I ran, opened the door and he was like, Rammed me. Yeah, he that's bite what, me I know. He just bumps into just, you. Just like bumps into you and like. So that's how he attacks you. Yeah, let's go outside and see if he can attack you. No, he doesn't. I walk past him. All right, let's go. Let's go try it. You want to try it? Yeah. Because I okay. Didn't give him any fries. We're gonna do. But anyways, I just want to make the point of this. There are lots of crazy people out there in the world that don't know how to behave, and we don't we don't euthanize or eat them. Ellie, you should stay here because this could get ugly. So walk by him. There he is. No, that's not him. Oh, yeah, that's him. Okay, now go walk towards his coop. His coop? Yeah. Come back. He thinks I'm going to give him food. He when he was a baby. It's because you He's used to... Me. You think that's it? I, tr <laughs> I tried to pick him up once before. It didn't go well. Pick him up, though. If you can pick him up, pick him up. <laughs> no. Okay, that was not good, Gabby. <laughs> Gabby's trying to pick up the rooster because we want to hold him upside down so he knows that. I'm giving the cat cat nip toy. Okay. Oh, he's under there. <laughs> he is afraid of Gabby. Like, all the animals, no animals attack Gabby, Gabby. Get back here! Come back. So it's only when you're walking away from him. <laughs> All right, now flip him upside down. Hold yeah, him by his him. by his legs. I can't hold him. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So Gabby thinks it's mean, but somebody <laughs> listen. <laughs> he like I hate this. You are. I'm the boss of you. <laughs> I can't stand this. You guys, I can't do it. What if he like, like to save him? <laughs> Let me be the one to save him. Wait, he I says. Don't hold him. Listen, I'm the boss of you. This is this is. I don't know if this is normal. Is this normal? No. He's calm now. He is calm. <laughs> All right, put him down. Let's see what he does. <laughs> Ellie. All right, it might Ellie, have worked. Run from him and see if he chases me. <laughs> He's never coming near us again. Good. Ellie. He'll come near me. All right, we did what we were told to do. We held him upside down. Mm. Told him we were the boss. And go out there now and see if he chases you. These are the things that I got for the barn. I got this because the feeder that we're using for my milk stand got broken. And this just hangs over. I'm going to put something in here and raise it up, a little platform, so that they don't have to bend down so far to get their grain. I don't know if it's going to work. But... This color, I love it, it's like a seafoam green, gave me the idea of the color scheme I want to go for the barn. So then I got two strands of fairy lights, someone suggested, and then I got these, which I'm going to hang up, I'll show you, it's like a photo garland, so it's like little garland, and then you put pictures in these things. Super cute, it comes with this string, I'm going to hang it up in these little hooks. Um, and these are the picture frames. So I wanted to hang up some pictures of like our goats or I, I don't even think I want to hang up pictures of our goats. I just want to make it springy. So I might just like print out some pictures and then color them yeah, in the color scheme that I want and then um, put them in here. But I don't like the wood frame. So I'm going to color them sea foam green and yellow, yellow, yellow and yellow and make it like a really pretty little thing. So that's all I got, only because I didn't have any inspiration. Sophie left me in the store and I had, she's got, she's really good with stuff like that. Okay, 10 minutes later and here is my little finished project. project. So this is the frame. I'm going to color these letters, put them inside here and it's gonna spell goat. And this is the closest I had to pink. I know it's not pink, but whatever. I have sea foam, green, yellow, blue, and some kind of ready color. Um, so I'm going to hang those up in the barn. I am. I have these things too, and 
I was thinking, I don't know what I'll do. <laughs> I could do something seasonal, but I didn't want to do seasonal because that's just not me. Like I don't want to have to change the decorations all the time. So I'm just going to do it like this. I feel so bad for my little guy here. Oh, hold on. Because he's alone all the time. So I also want to spend some time with him. I feel really bad for hanging the rooster upside down. I know people will say that he can't breathe. It was recommended to me by someone big in the horse world or big in the animal world. And it's just a way to say, just a, a way to calm him. And I wanted to try it to see if it would work. We didn't do it for very long. And I think hanging upside down for five seconds is a lot better than being cooked in the cooking pot. So hopefully it works. I'm sure we'll offend somebody. I apologize, but it's just our attempt to make him a little more docile. I've seen people at the sales barn buy chickens and carry them like that to their car. And I'm always like, oh my gosh, I would never do that. Here I am <laughs> trying it. So the water thing for the barn broke last night when I was watering the goats. So Sam's fixing that. I'm telling you right now, if that dog chases the goats, <laughs> you're going to be in trouble. All right, good. Everybody's behaving today in the barnyard. Typically, they only misbehave when we're ready to go someplace. So I just watched the goats run and jump up on that hay bale like it was nothing. They climbed it up on it like it was a mountain. Then they climbed, jumped down, did flips in the air. So yeah. Oh my God, give me that. I'm not gonna lie. I'm way over my head. I'm way over my head. Uh, I brought my little guy down with me. Hopefully he survives this because I can't just sit in the house and sit with him, which is what he wants all day. Then I have this random guy that follows me everywhere. And then I have that thing. <laughs> Don't touch the bird. Ellie? No. First thing, let's see if this works. Please don't come over here, little bird. He's happy to demonstrate. Can you reach him down in there? I bet he bet you he can. Anyway, we're gonna fix that up. That's gonna be for that, and then I can remove it and clean it. I've literally always been that girl that bites off more than she can chew. chew. But I actually like chaos. Like, I, I do good with chaos. Chaos is fun for me. I grew up in a big family, and big families are chaotic. Okay, so these are gonna go up there. I'm gonna do this. I have to find the staple gun. Um, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm going to show it to you tonight when we come down to do chores because we're going to get ready and go to another barn and ride. I think also I should get pillows to go on the back of this cushion that will match the colors hanging down. It worked. I just walked by the rooster really fast. Just stared at me. Didn't even try and move a muscle to come towards me. It's a shoe. Oh. Well, we need to get that. Let me see if I have another. <laughs> Makes me nervous, him pulling shoes. All right, what do I have? One. I don't remember this one. I'm gonna put it on him, it's small. Did he walk right in? Yeah. What a good boy. He did. All right, so we're at a new place. Like, oh, okay, we're at a new place. Storm's gonna get ready, tacked up. And we're gonna try Western. We're just, um, so we are getting. Storm knows everything. She's gonna ride in the Western saddle. Movement is jog. Yeah, so I was reading something recently. So I was reading something recently. What was I reading? Oh man, what was I reading? But it was about how you should always choose a horse that enjoys the same thing that you enjoy but it was said in a different way in a way that like made more sense like 
Storm naturally likes to go slow. So for him to step up and really like go moving for for Gabby is is like phenomenal that he does that for her. He just does what yeah, she asks. Yeah, Gabby, Sophie's making a move now too. But I don't think it's completely fair to do that to him all the time because that's not his preferred way of moving. So he's definitely a Western horse, a Western pleasure kind of horse. And, and I think that's okay. Don't you know that you're beautiful?